Many parents and students are happy about going back to school. Others don't feel the same way. Blake Allen spoke to one student today who says she wants better options for students opting to learn from home. With K through third graders returning to class on Monday and high school students set to return in February, a Summit High student contacted News Channel 21 to say she's amongst the group that feels frustrated by the reopening plan. It feels like they've sort of blindsided us right now. Gretchen Marks explained that she's upset that if she opts to stay home, she will have to change classes from the one she's currently taking. If you choose either the new district comprehensive distance learning or CDL, or you choose to go fully online, you're no longer going to be able to stay in all the teacher's classes that you've already been taking for the entire year. Even if they're a year-long class, you're going to be forced into a new class with new teachers and new classmates. Mark says she wants to see a different model. Teachers will bring the people that want to return in person. They can go in person, and those of us who don't want to switch to the new options can stay with our school. For me, it's Summit High School. Um, through a teacher live streaming or WebEx or setting up a WebEx or a Zoom in their classroom so that we can join in and be present for that class. She also thinks the systems are already in place to do that. Students have to quarantine because of that or for other reasons, they're going to be using WebEx in classrooms anyways so that the students who need to quarantine can still be connected to their teachers if they're doing hybrid. So it feels like they should be leaving it as an option from the start for those of us who don't feel comfortable going in person just yet. In the district, about 779 students total have opted for CDL learning. As for high schoolers, the district says about 100 of over 5,000 high schoolers have decided to stay online. The district says that those that do will have access to an advisory teacher daily who will provide support and meet regularly. In a statement to News Channel 21, the district wrote, We encourage students who do not wish to return for in-person learning, but who would like to stay connected with their individual school to reach out. We want to do our best to help students stay connected and feel supported. In Ben Blake Allen, News Channel 21.